Hi there and welcome to your second School Frog tutorial on John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. In this tutorial we're going to look at our first impressions of Lenny. Now Lenny's an important character, he's one of the main characters alongside George and it is important when we're thinking about Lenny that we think about him and George together. So let's start off with one of the earliest uh, bits of description uh, to do with Lenny to get our first impression. So here's the quote. Lenny's described as a huge man shapeless of face with large pale eyes with wide sloping shoulders and he walked heavily dragging his feet a little the way a bear drags his paws. So again, as we did with George, we're going to just take this one piece at a time. So first of all, he's described as being a huge man. Now the word huge is important. He's not just big, he's huge. It's exaggerated. We think of him as, the, as a giant almost. Um, he's described in contrast to George. Um, we know this because he's described straight after him. So put put something very small next to something very large and the size is emphasized even more. Now just as an aside here I haven't mentioned this on the presentation but Lenny's name is actually Lenny Small. Now Steinbeck has called him Lenny Small not as some people might think just to confuse us uh, but he's done it perhaps to emphasize again um, the, the size of him. We expect him to be small but we put him into this massive body. Um, the other thing that I will say about the idea of, of Lenny's name being small, it could be like George um, to do with his sort of place in the world. He's not seen as being a very important person, if he was a real person, but um, but you know his place in the world and his role in the world um, is is quite insignificant in a lot of ways. Okay, so that's the first thing then about Lenny. He's he's massive in comparison to George. Now, the next one, um, he's described as shapeless of face with large pale eyes. So remember, again, we spoke about how George was defined um, and he had quite strong features. Well, Lenny again is the opposite. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a blob of a character, um, and certainly at first he doesn't seem to have a lot of depth to him. Whereas with George, you know, he's a little bit edgy. We see his sort of mood swings early on. Lenny, you know, he seems he seems quite quite docile in a lot of ways. Yep, he does have a bit of a sulk, and you know, and he can be quite manipulative. But you know, he's just just almost like this massive big blob of a character. So shapeless refers to Lenny's face but it could also imply that as a character he's a bit of an unknown quantity. Um, he's also quite unpredictable. We don't really understand Lenny until right at the end of the novel when his character, uh, that sort of darker side of his character comes to the fore uh, and it's quite, quite disturbing and quite worrying in a lot of ways. Okay, so the next thing is that he's described as having wide sloping shoulders um, and he walked heavily dragging his feet. Now again we've got this sense of Lenny's size but sloping and dragging also suggests that he's quite slow not just physically but also mentally. Again this contrasts with George who was described um, as, being, as being small and quick both physically and mentally. Okay, so in a sense there they are opposites in a way, but at the same time they are kind of two sides of the same coin. They they kind of go together. Okay, um, and so the final thing is that he's described as dragging his feet a little the way a bear drags his paws. Now, although this is referring to his feet, um, I, I thought I'd draw this out because it uses the word pause and pause are used to describe Lenny's hands later on and remember we spoke about um, how hands are important. Um, now Lenny is likened to a bear in this this part of the quotation so that kind of emphasizes again his size, his strength but also that he is he is very dangerous and this combination of, of strength and the, the sort of mental slowness if you like or you know, his almost sort of childlike personality um, is is quite dangerous uh, when they're combined. Okay, so 
we can conclude with Lenny for now uh, by saying that the description of Lenny contrasts that of George. Okay, so remember always talk about these two characters together. We get the impression that although Lenny's big and strong, he's not very clever, and because of that, he could be very dangerous. So, depending on how far you've got in the novel, uh, you might already be aware of that. Um, but that's pretty much it for our first impressions of Lenny. Um, obviously, take this quotation and, and look for um, some of these ideas and the way that they might they might um, sort of reoccur or develop as you read on. And hopefully, um, that will be a good starting point for you for the character of Lenny. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, you can get this um, presentation as a worksheet um, along with all of the other presentations in this series uh, by going to uh, spotlight school frog at lulu.com and also if you want to keep up to date with what's going on at school frog um, do visit our blog um, on um, schoolfrog.blogspot.co.uk okay thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time